Welcome back to Bell to Bell. I'm your host, Jimmy V. Jones, here with my partner, Clark Jr. Jr. And what a freaking match we had last week on NXT. WWE NXT champion James Fatal was challenged by Hideo Itami, and Hideo Itami came out with a point to prove. Last time I saw something that crazy, I was staring at my ex-wife, Jimothy. The amount of back and forth action was absolutely insane. It came down to the wire with James Fatal finally being able to make a move at the very end of the match and hit closure to put away Hideo Itami for the three count. It was obvious that Hideo had been studying Fatal since their first encounter on NXT a while back, but Fatal was just able to barely get by and once he hit closure, that was lights out for Hideo Itami. James Fatal has got to have a newfound respect for Hideo Itami after that match. Hell, I respect both of the guys, Jimothy. I might not agree with everything each of them do, but you can't help it after seeing a performance like that. Now, we also have some more news on the whole Stephanie McMahon robot situation. What a match with Hideo Itami we had last week, and now we have to keep that momentum going. Welcome back to WWE 2K18 My Career. I'm glad you guys are here. If you guys have been enjoying the series, remember to leave that thumbs up on the video, and now we're going to be looking for somebody backstage. Hmm. Maybe there's somebody in the authority locker room just chilling. Nope, there's never anybody in the authority locker room. Doesn't seem like anyone's messing with the authority this year. Let's check the locker room and see what's going on over here. Nikki Cross! What is going on over here? How you doing? Look, I could use an insurance policy in my match tonight. Can you accompany me in my match tonight? Uh, yes, you know what? Sure, why not? Because you asked nicely, I'll be your manager tonight, Nikki. That sounds good. I'll make sure there's no funny business. Thank you. You're the best. Okay, so make sure Nikki Cross wins the match. We get 300 VC and 40 popularity. Okay, that seems uh, simple enough. You know, I feel like I should be able to make a difference in the match. So we'll do that for Nikki Cross. How's that? I'm feeling kind of good. Now let's go talk to... Oh, Asuka! What's up? How you doing? You better up your game out there. My match is going to seal the show tonight. Yo, wait a minute. Are you going to face Nikki Cross? Did I just get bamboozled? Oh, no. We're going to have to see what's going down here. Hey, what's going on, Baron? What's, what's happening? Better believe it. I'm going to say the same thing every time. All right, man. That sounds good to me. Make sure Nikki Cross wins the match. Oh, man. Is it versus Asuka? Oh, man. It's against Asuka. James Falcon is not gonna be excited about this one. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ST. I think Nick is Nikki gonna go for the count. No, I think she's gonna try to get her back in the ring. All right, she's back in the ring. I didn't have to touch her. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Uh oh, Nikki. There we go. Fisherman suplex. Oh, with the bridge, but too close to the ropes there. Oh no, Oscar's going down. Boom! She's in complete control here, guys. Oscar's just getting overwhelmed. Oh, not the beat down. Oscar's getting beat down. She can turn things around. Oh, a kick from Oscar. Wait a minute. Boom! With her butt cheeks. She got her in position. Oh no, what is going on here? Oscar oh, reversed by Nikki Cross. It looked like Oscar was on a comeback for a second, but Nikki Cross shut that down real quick. Uh oh, this is not looking good for Oscar. It's obvious right now that Oscar is. Look at Oscar stalking her. Oh, Oscar's coming back at the signature. Asuka there we the go again, the butt attack. Looking at it here. Oh, and Nikki's going to be able to kick out at just two. She's Things have turned around, though. Right now, Nikki's now on the floor yeah, here. Oscar got full control of the matchup, but Nikki's going to get right back up. Now. Go for a strike, but Asuka going to get the upper hand and the Asuka lock! She's the Asuka lock! Just a few moments ago. I just couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. Did it. What a huge win. I couldn't interfere and make Asuka lose. I just couldn't do it. I got too much love and respect for James Falcon and Oscar. You know what I'm saying? I just couldn't do it. The objective, I understand. I understand Nikki asked me nicely. I just couldn't do it. Well, let's see if anyone... Oh! How come I always find you when the, the, the theme song is playing? What's going on, my guy? 
There's a pay-per-view coming, and with moves like your, I know you'll be impressing the WWE Universe. With their support, you are everything in this company. Always remember why you are here. Them. Well, thank you, Cassius. I am looking forward to the pay-per-view. I will have to defend the NXT Championship. I'm not sure against who yet, but I assume it'll be somebody because I need to defend it. So, it could be, I mean, it could be you. Could be Ono himself. Well, let's go ahead and head out of here for this week, and uh, we'll check out the next week of NXT. Triple H? What are, we, what are we doing here? Good news, champ. Your hard work has been noticed by the important people, namely me. I'm honored, man. You should be. We've made the decision to bring you up to the main roster. There's a shortage of guys up there due to injuries. Oh my god, here we go! What can I do to help? We'll need you to step up into a bigger role on either Raw or SmackDown. Now, we don't know which show you're going to be on yet. Is, is that a problem? No, it's a logistics matter. I'm getting everything set in motion in order to bring you in. What that means is next week will be your last match at NXT. Afterwards, we'll let you do a promo to say goodbye. This is really the end of my time here. Yeah, do what you think you need to so you can prepare for all that. From there, well, let's work on that when we're ready. Be seeing you soon. Oh my goodness. We are getting the call up to the main roster. Raw, SmackDown, we don't know. All we do know is that we're going there. That's incredible, man. That is incredible. Already moving up. Let's see if anyone's in the locker room. Oh, we got a couple of people. Eric Young. Alexander Wolf. What y'all doing back here? Wow, you're on the fast track to superstardom. Nobody can deny your level of talent. Man, you are just all over the place. I can't tell if you like me or not. I think he, I think he might have just got the news that I'm getting caught up to the main roster. He's trying to, <laughs> he's trying to get a little bit of that, that that recommendation from your boy here. You're not slick, Eric. I get your game. All right, Baron, what's going on, man? Did you hear the news? Did Triple H tell you? Okay, Triple H was wanting me to let you cut a promo tonight. Did he tell you? I'm telling you, promo time. No fight. Nope. Said something about wanting you healthy for the big match next week. Understandable, but weird phrasing. That mean anything to you? Oh no, I don't like I, I don't like what's what's happening here. I, Triple H, j, j, this, there's something happening. Main roster has a lot of injuries. He said, I, <laughs> something's happening here. I can smell it in the air. Ah, uh, okay, still weird phrasing. I agree. Uh, I agree. I can smell it, Baron. Save me. I'll let everyone get back to the show in just a moment. I just wanted to get in front of the WWE Universe to air a list of grievances tonight. I think you'll all agree with me that my concerns are valid and need to be addressed. You talk a lot. You talk about what you want, and you talk about when you want it. You talk about what you think needs to be fixed and what you think you'll do about it. The only thing you don't talk about is the only thing you need to worry about. Me. I don't know what could have made you think that it would be a good idea to come out here and piss me off. Why would you walk into the den of the biggest bear in the forest and poke it with a stick is beyond me. So, I suggest you justify your existence to me before I put a swift and severe into it now. This is exactly what's wrong with the WWE today. It seems that any blowhard come out to the ring and ramble on and on about what they're going to do as opposed to actually coming out and doing it. Me, I'm the type of guy that prefers actions to words, and that's exactly why I'm out here right now. I'm not sure exactly why you feel that anyone here gives even the slightest bit of crap what you think or what you're going to do. I highly suggest you head back to the locker room and think about the mistake you just made and what you're going to do to rectify it before I come over there and tear your head off. That tears it. You either step up and do this right now, or you walk away and never come back. Either way, you and me, it all ends tonight. So what's it gonna be, punk? Big words, little man. You're spoiling for a fight you know isn't gonna happen tonight. But mark my words, we are gonna fight and at a time and place of my choosing. And when we do, they're gonna be carrying you out on a stretcher. You wanna walk away this time? That's fine, I'll allow it this time. But remember this, the only reason you can continue to walk is because I'm a nice guy. Well, now we all know what lies 
in store for us. That'll raise the old heart rate. Well, I'm not sure if we can top that, but we would do our best. Baron, I did not expect that to happen at all. Things went from 0 to 100 really quick, my man. Wow, he is hounding you at every corner. Yeah, I might have set him off with that last promo. Yeah, no, it wasn't your promo that set him off. But that sure wasn't pretty, I don't know. I'll dig into this, but hmm. Nah, we'll reconvene tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not too sure what just happened, Baron, to be completely honest with you. We just went from friends to bitter enemies in just one swift moment. I think that's the wrestling business in a nutshell, to be completely honest with you. And especially when you're the champion, when you're the big dog. Yeah, things like that happen. Not what I expected to happen, but at the same time, maybe I should have expected it. Now we have an enemy in Cassius Ono. Well, I guess we'll get ready for this next week as we end our run in NXT. Welcome to Do A Flip Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, Randy O'Ryan, and today we have a great show lined up for you. We're going to be talking about Neville's departure, Enzo pissing off another wrestler backstage, and Roman Reigns sucking here, <laughs> right guys? Does anyone else hate Roman Reigns? But right now we have a special guest on the line, current NXT champion James Fatal. James, can you hear me? Yeah, we doing it live, Randy? Always ready, James. How does it feel to be the NXT champion, my man? Oh man, it feels incredible. I've worked so hard to get to this point, and having the chance to hit the scene running was just unbelievable, Randy. Well, James, it seems some of the boys in the back aren't a big fan of that, actually. What are your thoughts on them thinking that you shouldn't be getting where you're getting? It really doesn't bother me. If they were as good as they think they were, they'd be the ones talking to you right now as the NXT champion, right? And that's the bottom line. I don't know if you heard, but Dave Meltzer gave your match with Hideo Itami a 4.75. That's pretty good, yeah? Yeah, that's actually incredible to hear. I have a lot of respect for Dave Meltzer. I was very happy to hear that he thought it was good enough to give such high praise. It kind of seems the rest of the world thinks that too, as I've gotten so many messages from so many fans all over the world. It's been incredible. So, James, maybe you could explain the whole Dark Society thing to the people who were wondering what exactly that is? That's a great question, Randy. Dark Society is my connection to my fans, my friends. We're a support system. Now, Randy, my life wasn't the greatest growing up. I'm not going to get too much into that, but a lot of that was on me and my decisions. It was just a really lonely time. I know the bottom of the mountain, and we're not here to knock on any doors in the WWE. We're here to kick them down. We will turn our hatred into something to be proud of. Now, who are we to say we know what's right for the masses? Well, we don't. We just know what's right for us. And we don't need your adoration. We're not looking for that. We just demand your respect. Well, that's just... that. That's incredible, James. I, I want to thank you so much for being on the Do A Flip Wrestling Podcast this afternoon, and please just keep killing it out there, my man, because I have just been enjoying you so much. Thanks for having me, Randy. It was a pleasure. Triple H wants to talk to us again? Hey, get over here for a second. Is there a problem? There's no way to soften this. That promo last week? Look, that did you no favors. The higher-ups are having doubts that you have what it takes to be on the main roster. You can guess who that includes. Wait, what? Huh? I, there's all, geez, nothing ever goes smoothly. There always gotta be some freaking twist right at the end. That's so annoying. That's life. If you don't get that by now, I'm not sure what illusions you have about your continued experiences in WWE. The audience, they're fired up about Cassius now. Show them all and the higher ups what you can do. Earn that spot on Raw or SmackDown. Yeah, I got you, man. That's no problem. I deserve to be there. I know I should be there. Baron, you got anything to say to me before this last match here, man? What's going on? Okay, it all comes down to this. One more fight. Boom. Gotta leave NXT on a high note, baby. My fight with Bobby may have been awesome, but I'm seriously ending things here on a high note. Okay, yes, the only proper ending. Put on a show for the ages, my friend. Defend the NXT Championship and get a match rating of three stars. Alright, baby. Let's do this! for coming. Not sure you can hear me with this capacity crowd letting loose, but we're about ready to kick this thing off. Don't change that channel, because we've got some epic WWE action on tap. The following 
Wrestling Contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. So we get started here, let me remind everybody that the title is on the line here tonight. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there is no way we crown a new champion tonight. Corey, let's go through the champ's head right now, heading into this title defense. Well, by the look on his face, I'd say nothing. I mean, look at him. He's completely stone-faced in there. Introducing the challenger from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. Introducing the champion from Kill Devil Hill, North Carolina, weighing in at 260 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, James. Don't change that dial. Is this what you wanted, Cassius? Is this away. what you wanted Man, I'm looking to this all one. this time? Is this what you wanted but can he knock off the from friends to bitter enemies? Who say he can, you just wanted to throw away what I thought was a friendship just for a chance to, a to fight me? In this match. I can't even believe it, man. I'm going to flip you over real quick. Major reversal. Get some moves in on you real quick. Here we go. Oh, we're going to hit him with the triple butterflies. Let me show you what's good, baby. Let me show you a little bit of that trifecta jutsu I learned from James Falcon. Try to use it as much as possible. It's one of the most powerful moves in the biz. Just stay down, Cassius. I don't want to have to injure you just like the main roster, guys. I don't want to have to injure you. I don't want to have to injure you. It's okay to just lose. It's okay. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Cash is going to fight back here. My man's got the power move set. Liger Bomb! My man bringing it out early. Cash is here to make a statement. He wants to get this NXT Championship knowing it's my last match. Uh-oh, Cash is going to pick me up halfway before picking me up to my knee. Oh, he's going to pick me up all the way to my feet and drag me. Where are we going? Oh, right back down. He's playing mind games. Cash is playing mind ga Oh, no. Not the arm. Not the arm. Not the arm. Not the arm. Come on, man. No, 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 no. No! Come on, man. That's my good arm. Where's he going? Oh, my goodness. What in the world was my man thinking right there? He put it all on the line real easy. No, he reverses it. The oh! Sweat. Yakuza kick. I suspect he has plenty of fight left in him. This man is he putting the fight in. Sure this doesn't get too oh, just a bitch Sometimes slap. I can't even believe. Oh. We gotta to watch warrior. out for those. So we gotta watch out for elbows right and now, forearms and from your boy here. To pick a I know your pedigree, I guess brother. We'll have to in and enjoy the action. Uh oh. I can't seem to get anything off here. Cash is getting some offense in. Oh, we're able to back out of the corner. Here we go. I can throw some forearms myself, buddy. Don't you count out, James Fatal. Moves like that can upset Trying to get the striking game up here. Uh-oh. Did we reverse? We were able to reverse. 
neck breaker. Let's go. Oh, man, we're going up. We're breaking out all the way to the top moves. We rarely do this. Uh, mm, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. NXT Championship on the line. Oh, wait a minute. I think I saved myself a little bit there, not going to the top Jeez. rope. I feel like that would have crashed and burned. And the Able to kick out. out. Uh-oh. Not on the floor here. The Cassius knows that I'm not too good on the floor. Oh, no. To back to the floor. He knows. Point, he knows. Oh, what is this? That's how close this oh. Thing is. This man's making me choke myself. He may be in the best physical oh, but we're getting up, I've though. Here we go. Fire him back. Flip him over. There we go. There we go. Fatality! He can end it Woo! here. Ono is in a real bad spot. The challenger not looking here we go. The challenger's hopes to become Starting to mount some here offense here. Finally right getting back into it. About a guy in a match like this. And what I've so here we go, some strikes. Absolutely no oh no, Cash is going to reverse. Ain't no stopping him now. What is this? Where are we going? I'm not trying to go nowhere. There we go, we're able to fight it off. We complete a little bit of the objective three stars. Cash is going to fight back again. But we are able to reverse. Here we go. Drop it on him. I think that might have been the last bit here. Boom, look at that STO. Look at that offense. This man is getting it right here. Uh-oh, Cash is reversing again, though. Able to stop the momentum, but we're right back at it again. The challenger looking absolutely What's good, Cassius? He put up a good fight, but it may be the end of the line. For now the let me show you what's up. Tonight. Let's not write him off yet. Remember, knee of justice. That's it. Looks like another and now it is time. Just as Cassius oh no. Close y'all. Oh, Last second reversal from Cassius oh no. Sends us flying to the floor. Suplex. Uh oh, wait a minute. Cassius is looking for the end himself. Oh, man, what a beating he's taken. Wait a minute. The lights are on, but clearly. Oh! Just knocked us straight out. Absolutely out of it right now. Oh no, he's gonna get the pin. Here he goes for the win. One, two, and he Oh, the resiliency. With all the damage done, the resiliency. Cassius Ono almost taking the NXT Championship. Oh, but he, he goes for a there. kick. Oh, but he backs up, and I still got him. Here we go. He's moving there we go. Oh boy, he is Let's see if we can hit it. Fatality. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Cassius, you know you little. You need a little bit of closure. Ouch. One, two, three. And still, your NXT champion. Here is your winner, and still, the NXT champion, James. And we have a new champion, ladies and gentlemen. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Baron, this is it, man. This is it. Was the right way to end things, that. I learned from the best. Yep. Main roster is where you will soar, can feel it. Which, incidentally, is where Triple H says you're going. It's official as of a few minutes ago. Awesome, dude! He also feels you're worthy to go ahead and give that goodbye speech tonight. Oh, really? Get back to me once you're ready for that. Oh my. It's time to say goodbye to NXT, people. We had quite the run. A quite quick run, mind you. But a good one nonetheless. What's up, Tommaso? How you doing, man? I know this is all fairly new to you. I know you're focused and working hard, but make some time to hang out with the guys. It'll make life much easier and more fun, dude. Thanks, uh, Tommaso. That's uh, pretty nice of you. I'll try to, I'll try to uh, incorporate that into the time. You want to go get a beer later, my dude? Come get it with me and Cheryl Lagman? <laughs> 
Albert, what'd you think of that, man? We'll chat again soon. See, Albert, I got you pegged, man. I got you pegged, man. You only care when it's convenient for you. I, I got you pegged, man. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's make our final NXT speech. Let's go, Baron. Time to say goodbye. Ring is yours. Do whatever you need to. Make it good. All right. As dominant as the main roster is, I'm here tonight to admit to you that I'm not afraid. With you, my fans behind me, they're nothing. I will crush them and not have a stain on my conscience. Ours is a force of absolute will, and if you keep your unwavering faith in me, I promise to stay committed to you. Take Bobby Boy, for instance. Seriously, please take him. After the huge struggle I had with him, he needs to go and no one wants him. But man, that was a difficult fight, huh? Wow, phew. He had this really cool move at the end, don't know if you caught it, where he gets slammed to the mat and I pin his ass. People ignoring me stops now. I started in this business with small victories and I build on those successes continually without losing momentum. I've started up the ranks and I'm gonna continue my ascent to the very top. And when I get there, I will shout my name so loudly that the future will hear it. For the insult of mistreating me, there's really only one vengeance that can satisfy me. And that, that is seeing every opponent lying in a heap before me, broken bodies splayed in all directions. I don't care how long it takes or how many megastars I have to overcome. Bring it on and get ready to lose. Between the lines needed there. And there you have it. That's right, partner. And I wouldn't have expected anything less from this. That's the way. Out in style. Like it. Triple H is waiting for you. Best check in. See you someday, yeah? We'll miss you. Same here, Baron. Thank you, my dude. Same goes for me. It's been great. Yep, good times. Go on now. Big time's waiting. See ya. See you later, man. Take it easy. Thanks for all the help in NXT. But it's time for me to ascend to the main roster. You know what it is, baby. You know what it is. What's up, Chris? We have to go speak with Triple H. Is he actually in his office? Is Triple H actually in his office? Why would Triple H be in his office? <laughs> oh, there he is down here, actually. Triple H is right here. Oh, he was all the way down here by the tailor. Well, here's the other authority office. I guess this is maybe where Triple H stays. Hey, word came down from Vince where you're laying. Just got off the phone with him. Lay it on me, baby. After watching you out there tonight, we want you in Raw on Mondays. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say. Glad to hear it. You'll have your work cut out for you. I know you only finished up here, but once you're truly ready, it's time to move on. Looking forward to working with you. Likewise.